Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As her three-year-old daughter Lila had a terrible meltdown, Little People's Tori Roloff shares charming new photographs of youngsters visiting Santa. One of them though, wasn't all that excited to meet the merry old man in red, the Little People, Big World singer shared several cute pictures of her kids getting ready to see Santa on Instagram. The children of Tori and Zach, Lila, 3, Jackson, 5, and Joja, 6 months, sat on a red velvet couch while dressed alike in red and white checkered outfits. The daughter of the reality star, who was seated close to her brothers with a pillow that said Merry Christmas, immediately gave off a weird vibe. A second image shows a sobbing Leela sitting next to her bigger brother on the couch. The three-year-old is depicted in the third picture of the series crying while lying face down on the couch. Her brothers are the only people in the subsequent pictures of the series who are seated on Santa's lap. Poor Lila just isn't so sure about the Santa thing, Tori captioned the picture. While Jackson and Joja braved the cold to visit with Santa, I cherish the memories we are creating. Let's hope Lila gets better, she jokingly wrote. The comments section was flooded with support and similar stories from fans. One person commented, that first photo of Lila's pure dread. Such wonderful memories one more said, yup, I agree with Lila. Not sure about this Santa, said an emoji with a smiley face. I adore her character. She consistently responds, nope, not for me. Another admirer laughed. Another admiration. They are really cute. Even the photos where Lila is just expressing her feelings about everything. One day, you and Lila will reminisce about it while laughing. In preparation for the Christmas season, the Roloff family has been busy putting up their trees and decorating their home. Many people have appreciated Tori and Zatch's minimalist yet lovely interior design. Tori and Zatch went above and beyond to hunt and cut down their own festive pine when it came time for an actual tree. On her Instagram stories, Tori posted a series of images that showed how the family went about getting the Christmas tree and putting it up. The first image featured her husband Zach and their five-year-old kid Jackson grinning dot when they looked at the camera while touring a nearby Christmas tree farm. Sis and I, and Joja, weren't up for tree hunting today, but these fellas got a good one, she wrote as the description for the photo. Naturally, the sis Tori is referring to is her and Zach's middle child, their three-year-old daughter Lila. The following post has a boomerang video of Jackson attempting to cut down the pine tree they had selected. Jackson was aiding in her downfall, the TLC star said. The bundled tree was visible within the family's large living room in the third Insta story. Jackson, Lila, and six-month-old Joja can be seen waiting for the tree to be decorated in the background. Later, a video with the caption Joza overseeing demonstrates the youngest Roloff watching his mother pick up errant pine needles on the ground. A short while later, a video of the completely decked tree follows. Tori captured the occasion by writing, I'm now worn out, though it was worthwhile. Five different colored socks were dangling from the fireplace mantle, ready for Santa to fill. The name of a family member was embroidered on the top of each stocking. They were carefully hung on a row of hooks that were painted to resemble Santa's sleigh and his reindeer. The festive ensemble was complemented by a holiday snow globe. Last year, the reality stars revealed that they would be leaving their home in Oregon to be closer to Tori's family. The brand new house has four bedrooms and three bathrooms and is estimated to have cost $944,000. With more than two acres of land and room for the kids to run around, the large house is an improvement for the family. Additionally, it serves as a safe haven for Zach, who is still embroiled in a savage argument with his father, Matt, about the future of the family farm.